welcome back guys today in this step-by-step -step tutorial i will show you guys how to do this text uh, 3d carved effect in uh, adobe illustrator actually this tutorial is very easy uh, guys and these steps are very simple to follow i hope you guys will enjoy this tutorial and learn something new all right guys so let's start with our tutorial first thing first let's have a background so I'm drawing a rectangle and going to give a color for this background. Uh, the color I will choose from my library, maybe a lighter orange color is will be better, I guess. And control two, I will just lock this layer. Control two will lock this layer. And we start with the new layer for the text. Oops, text, okay. Alright guys, so for the text, please try to choose a square text as possible because it will be easier. If you have curves, then it will be difficult for you to do this kind of design. Uh, for my case, I'm using this retro computer, which is a default Adobe. Um, it comes with Adobe Creative Cloud, I think, or you can download from the Creative Card text library. Uh, I will put down the link uh, in the description and just select this text and what to type maybe art yeah yes okay so i will make it bigger uh, as you guys can see this text look like um, pixelated old uh, pixel looking text which is perfect for our design mm. and i will make it bigger okay so now select this one and go to effect and 3d and make a rotation and make the preview on and make it like make it for your preference however you want so I will make it somewhere like this uh, I think this look better and don't uh, put any surface shading or nothing just leave it as it is and say okay and now our text layer is ready and we can go to now we don't need to keep this text as text editable text we we are going to delete this anyway and keep in mind guys this layer is only a guide after we draw on top of this layer we will delete this layer this text layer anyway so we select this one go to object and expand appearance we'll expand the text layer now zoom in a bit now this step is very important guys if not, you will. Uh, there will be a lot of issues you, will, you guys will face if you not follow this step. Uh, go to view and make the smart guides on if it's not on. I will tell you guys why it must be on. If not, you see when you draw, it will it will affect it will edit the current text layer. So we have to lock this layer. But if you lock this layer, if your smart guide is not on, you won't, your edges won't snap to the grids properly. So that's why you need to have snap smart guides on. All right. So I go back. And I select this one and control 2 or command 2 in Mac will lock this layer. Now this layer is locked. All right, guys. Now what we can do is we can go back. To, uh, create a new layer or you can keep in the same layer and we start draw all these uh, depth on top of this text okay so we go to views and mark gates is on and we select the path tool and you guys can see when you go to the points it will show all the points correctly so you don't need to worry about drawing outside the snap uh, outside the points all right so we start from letter a go here click and then keep the shift key on so you will only go straight line or 45 degrees angles so we go all the way here until it touches this edge when you see this this path guide here click on it then again you go here to this anchor point press one more time and you close the shape from here all right so we have draw this shape already so we go to the libraries we apply a color i prefer this color yeah okay 
So now we have selected the color for this edge. And then because the light is coming from this side, this edge will look brighter. But this edge, we have to make it darker. So we draw again from here, go to the anchor point, click and select click here and until the anchor point here and all right so we have closed this path shape and we select a darker tone all right so what we are going to do is we are going to follow the same colors for ev colors everywhere okay so our one box is done then we continue the same with everywhere mm. next step is uh, drawing, drawing this uh, line here I think we start with this one first so I go select shift key until it reaches the path and uh, we reach to the end and we close it and this one will be this color select this one here and all the way until it reaches the path and it until go along with this line until it reaches this path here and shift key and close it and give this color we may have a bit yeah this look perfect and you guys can see here also we need to have this this color so we zoom in a bit go back again select on this corner and shift all the way until here and close this one okay so now this looks better and uh, this one in this corner also we close it all the way to the edge shift key until here and it looks better now okay all right guys so same thing here this edge also what i'm going to do is i will complete the entire section with this purple edge color and then i will oops i we made a mistake these two colors must be this color yeah i don't know why i chose the wrong color okay so we start drawing the full section here first same as earlier just go to the hedges until you see the anchor here and anchor So if you guys miss some parts, you can go back again because our snap to, uh, sorry, view snap to, just activate snap to grid part and just bring it down again, it will automatically snap to the grid. Okay, so this one is correct now, but we have to change this color. So again, we draw on top of this, uh, we draw one more, click on it and shift until here and close it and it will be this color our a is finished now and it looks nice so i will continue the same same uh, same concept for other two characters also so since this is very easy to understand guys i think i don't need to do it as a slow version so i will make it faster
Right guys, so let's uh, finish this part. Now I think all looks good. Uh, as I was telling earlier, we don't need this text layer. So I select this text layer and did delete it. All right, so all look fine. And select, uh, select all of them and make a copy. Alt, drag, Ctrl G, okay. So we made a copy, just keep it outside here. Now we need to apply a gradient for this one. Apply a gradient. And the purpose of this is giving a 3D depth to the to this, this text. So when you go below down, it will get darker. So that's that's what I'm trying to do now. So you first you select and apply the gradient here and um, for one side you select and you can select black color and make the opacity to 50 percent other side also select the rgb black color and the opacity to zero percent all right so now you can see nicely it's applying but we have to change the side so select everything and press g and make it something like that but still it's not the correct correct way to do so what we have to do is we have to select one by one and g apply a depth like this so if you guys can see the 3d depth here then it will definitely look better on top of this layer so that's why i'm i separated this layer to do so select this part just select direct selection tool and g apply a again like this until you're satisfied with the 3d look all right and this one also do the same so t our t is looking better now it look like so now it's look like it's a 3d object carved into the surface so we have to do the same with all other sites also So better now and I will make this part faster and come back to you guys. So one more thing guys you get in this surface we have to make these two as a one solid layer because this is one surface so only the here i made a mistake uh, by drawing two objects so i made them one one solid layer and make it like this also in here i copy this one ctrl c and paste on top of this one alt ctrl v and deleted the center part so now we have a 3d object like this Alright guys, so I think this look better now and we call, bring this layer on top of this and now it's looking perfect. Okay guys, so we have achieved the 3D depth. Maybe we can bring down the opacity of the darker tone to maybe 30%. Yeah, I think now it's looking even more better. Alright guys, so I think... Uh, that's it for this tutorial and hope you guys learn something new and you guys can use this design for your own design work and thank you for watching and see you guys in the next tutorial